Merry Christmas Eve Eve! Yes! Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. That means only two more days of your god freaking stinking countdowns. New Year's. We're going to take a break for the next week and a half so that I don't have to record him going seven days to New Year's. Six days to New Year's. <laughs> Five days to New Year's. <sighs> One hour till your death. Or however long it takes me to choke you to death. There you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So we don't really know what we're going to talk about. We just kind of decided, you know what, we're bored. Let's vlog a little bit. Yeah. We missed you guys. We wanted to talk to you guys. What are your Christmas plans, okay? Tell me in the comments below what your Christmas plans are. Ours are, well, we got two. We have two? Yes. Oh, yeah, we do have two. On Christmas Eve, we're going to my mom's. To get with? Get with my sister, her husband, my niece, and my nephew. And your mom. And my mom, of course. We're going to my mom's. Of course we're going to get them with my mom. You, you never know. No, I'm going to lock her in the back room and party in her apartment and not let her participate. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> and that's what we're going to do. The big gift exchange for the family and everything. Because we, I, I grew up in a huge family. But since we've moved and, you know, life has gone on and we've grown, some of our family's kind of gone all sorts of different ways, so we still keep in touch here and there, and Facebook is a big help for that. But anyway, so now we have a small family. We only have me, David, Mom, Mindy, Nate, Noah, and Runa. So five adults and two kids. Yep. And so, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, they're coming over tomorrow. We're going to have snacks, and we're doing... Gift wrapping, opening, or whatever. Yep, gift opening. Gift opening. I got them stockings full of goodies. You got and... them stockings full of candy. Yeah, well, there's some good goodies in there, too. Oh, is there? Yeah, we get, like, a cute little plastic cup with a lid. And a oh, that's drum. right. Yeah. And they're getting, um, and Rune's getting, like, a squishy pink ball thing. Oh, that's right. And then Noah's getting a stress ball. That's right. Yeah. And then they get candy. And then they get lots of other things. Oh yeah, yeah. They're 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 making out like bandits this year. We spoiled them this year. We did. We did last year too, though. Yeah, but that's just because you know I don't have any kids of my own, so I have to spoil somebody else's. Yeah. So I have to spoil my sister's kids. Sounds about right. <laughs> yep. And then Wednesday, no. Wednesday. Tuesday. Actual Christmas Day is Tuesday. Yeah. Then we're going over to my mom's. It's just going to be me, David, and my mom having a nice little dinner together. Just just for fun. Chicken. Yep. Or not chicken. Turkey and noodles or something. Just a nice simple meal. And this one is a little down. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell them what it is about the holidays that makes you down? Because I bet you anything, somebody else out there has the exact same problem. Like, for me, the holidays, I try to be cheerful. I try to just be merry, happy, whatever. But it just, the season just wears down on me. Yeah. I used to be worse when I worked in retail. Oh, God, everybody who works in retail hates Christmas. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, you do have an idea. Yeah. Yeah, I have an idea. I've worked many, 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 many Christmases in retail. Yeah, I just, I don't handle Christmas well. It's just the holiday, the stress. Like, I can joke around about the countdown and stuff like that. But... Yeah. Actually, the actual event, it just is not A lot of people thing. get worn down because um, even if it wasn't anywhere near the holidays, holidays tend to bring up memories, good and bad. Yeah. Especially Christmas. 
Christmas, they'll imagine, you know, if they had lost a loved one that year or the year before, they're going to be like, oh, they're, they're not here, you know, they don't enjoy this with us anymore. Yeah. And they'll think about that and they'll, or um, they'll think, I don't know. It, it just brings up a lot of memories, good and bad. Yep. But even good memories can stress you out enough to get uh, upset a little bit. Yeah. And plus, as a lot of you know, the sunlight um, provides us with bodily created vitamin D, which you cannot get in any sub supplement. You can get, no, you can get vitamin D in a supplement. In, in, in man-made vitamin D. Yeah. But the vitamin D from we get from the sun cannot be replicated. Yeah. And so, you know, when it's dreary outside all the time, and uh, no sun, no vitamin D. Yeah. So, the sun is good for us, and the sun is bad for us at the same time. Yep. Big, exploding, exploding ball of fire in the sky. <laughs> fire! Burr! Alright, well, anyway, tell, tell us about your Christmas plans. We want to hear. And uh, if you're new here, I'm Kathy. This is David. Hello. We vlog about living daily lives with mental illnesses. And, and so, just life in general. And life in general, yeah. We do try to focus a little bit on the mental Ill uh, <laughs> mental illnesses because we just want to do our part in trying to break the stigmas related to it. Everybody's just all... I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. But we also have to have some fun. Yeah, you have to have fun. If you don't have a sense of humor and you get a mental illness, it will eat you up. Mm -hmm. It will. It will eat you up alive and you will be miserable. Yeah. But we've found, you know, occasionally making fun of each other and stuff like that. Just joyful, harmless fun. Yep. You know, I call him crazy. He calls me delusional, so... <laughs> It all works out. And my mom is good on it, too. She loves making fun of my mental illness. Cause my mom's a big jokester, so she does that a lot. And it's fun. It's very fun. I used to get offended a little bit, but now I'm just like, what? Like, it's just a joke, okay? Lighten yeah. up, Kathy. You know, <laughs> I'm now a pretty easygoing person. I used to be, woo. I used to be very type A. I was like, ah, we must get here right now. <laughs> this one's getting on right now. That is not perfect. Urgh. I was, I was nuts. <laughs> and I, I still have my days. He'll tell you. Mm -hmm. He'll tell you I have my days. But in general, I'm a lot more laid back than I used to be. Don't know what changed. I just am. <laughs> you grew up. Yeah, I grew up. Um, a lot of people who grew up still get all type A. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Some people have a stick stuck up their butt. Okay. Well, that that's well, that's one way of looking at it, I guess. <laughs> You've met those kind of people. I know you have. I have. I have, and I'm pretty sure. The viewer has. Yeah, we've all met our people with the sticks up our butt. Especially if you ever work retail or oh, food service. Oh, dear Lord. Any kind of customer service. Any kind of customer service. You're going to know who pe people with sticks up their butts. Yeah. Because they're everywhere. Yep. So, that's really all we got right now. You have anything, David, you want to say? I'm good. You're good? Are you, are you excited for tomorrow? You're sure. getting presents. And we're giving presents. Still not get... counting on that first part. Ugh. Well, Mindy asked what you wanted, so. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm getting anything. Oh, would you stop? I wouldn't be surprised if my mom got you something. Uh, my mom, my, me and my mom, there's one thing we have in common is we love to buy gifts for people. Yeah. I love giving people stuff. I don't know why. I'll get. I'll give like my own possessions away sometimes. Like I had a, I had a kid, um, once when I was in a restaurant, and uh, I had a backpack Pikachu. It was the cutest thing, and I had a couple of Pikachu uh, keychains on it, and um, he, this kid, came up to me, a complete total stranger. 
and sat next to me in my booth, and I was across from my ex-husband, and we're both just kind of like, do we know you? <laughs> and what he did was he showed me, like, all these different pictures that he drew of Pikachu and, and other Pokemon, how much he loved them. So, if, um, I was like, that's really good, you know, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of fun. It was like this cute little kid just came out of nowhere. Just because he liked my backpack and he drew a picture of Pikachu. So, he drew one for me. He drew a pair of Pikachu for me while he was eating. And then right before he gave it to me, I gave him one of my keychains. I gave him one of my Pikachu keychains in exchange <laughs> for the drawing. And he was very happy. So, that's the kind of stuff I like to do. <laughs> yeah. And when it comes to a gift-giving season, I always go overboard. <laughs> always. I didn't do too bad this year. No. Nah. Didn't do too bad this year, but but yeah. Either way, I usually go overboard. Birthdays, yeah. oh my god. Yeah. Birthdays, I just get excited as hell when it's your birthday, and you're like, why? Just another day. Just another day. Well, we've been babbling for almost eleven minutes, so we're gonna go to bed. We will see you tomorrow. Have a good Sunday night. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.